Hello everyone, I'm doing a bit of a different video today. I was messing around with redstone in Minecraft and found something quite interesting. So what do you think is the fastest way to travel in Minecraft? Some of you may say elytra, some of you may say piston bolts in the nether or ice highways. Uh, some particularly savvy of you might say ender pearl cannons, but I have something that trumps all of that. That's right. With the new 1.16.2 update, stasis chambers became a viable method of transport. Now, uh, I have created a sort of a network of stasis chambers uh, that I can activate with some wireless redstone, and they're all chunk loaded, so they will all be be ready to ready to go whenever I need to go to them. So let's start off with an example here. This one uh, brings me 100,000 blocks in the X direction. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the wireless redstone activates, and I'm teleported uh, to almost 10, almost 100,000 blocks. Uh, as you can see, I have a chunk loader here, along with the receiver, and the stasis chamber, of course. Let's go back. So you can use this to travel anywhere in your Minecraft world. Um, let's go to the world border now. So, as you can see, um, the encoder encodes, the timing, the wireless redstone activates, and here we are. In under 10 seconds. Um, similar setup here. Um, I had to make the uh, chunk loader slightly different on the other side because of a weird bug I've noticed in 1.16.2. Um, but it still works. Uh, let's go back. So, obviously these are breaking up into two parts. We have the uh, transmitter and we have the receivers. Um, ideally, you'd want both of these um, at each node, but sometimes maybe you don't want to build up the whole transmitter. It's a, it's a lot of work to build. You've got to build this all the way up to the sky limit. Um, sometimes you might only want the receivers. So how does the transmitter encode a specific uh, destination node? To travel to. It has to do with the global timing on the daylight detectors. Uh, this is a globally synchronized clock. You build this anywhere in your world and it'll always uh, pulse on the same tick every 20 ticks. Now this is a hard-coded delay, um, so it, uh, it specifies which of these 20 ticks to detect if the water has stopped updating. This blue circuit is the uh, detection circuit that detects if the water, uh, if there's no water update on that tick, or no more water updates on that tick. Uh, this overloads the 65,536 water update uh, limit, and then uh, if there is, then it activates the pearl stasis chamber teleporting you. So this encoder, um, in order to select which of these hard-coded uh, nodes to travel to, it needs to activate uh, this stasis chamber uh, on a specific tick out of every 20 ticks. Um, so each of these buttons correspond to one of the different ticks. As you can see, uh, it pushes down and then these observers get all activated one tick apart from each other, which sends a one tick pulse through on the correct timing and activates the uh, the transmitter. Uh, how I do this is a neat trick with uh, scaffold. Um, if you put a trap door on the edge of scaffold um, and activate it, then it'll send a pulse through uh, one with one tick of delay. I chained a bunch of these together and I have a one tick delay line of observers. So as you can see, this piston pushes down, uh, this observer activates it, and uh, it activates the transmitter on a specific tick. And let's see the uh, receiver in action. So um, we'll see this water not flow down, and then this activates, and then we get teleported. It happens really fast, so in case you missed it, there's a big lag spike, and then it, you get teleported. The wireless redstone video, as well as the chunk loader video, will be linked in the description. Thank you all for watching.